I want to share a little hypnotic process for you. If you want to let go of some negative emotions from the past or maybe holding on to a grudge or some other kind of negative feelings that may be weighing you down or somehow causing you misery, discomfort, sadness, or resentment even, or anger. Um, now, you might have heard me share many times that what I learned through hypnotherapy and working with so many of my clients is what actually bottling up emotions from the past, holding on to limiting, disempowering, hurtful beliefs, what that really does. It actually impacts our health in the worst way. And if we don't take care of our emotional health and even our mental health, it will often have severe impact on our physical health. Because, you see, when we believe things about ourselves that are hurtful, and when we hold on to things about the past like resentment and anger, and we're not willing or able to let it go, right? To literally move through us and to process that information and to process those emotions, those emotions stay trapped in our body. And ultimately it will turn into dis-ease. And that dis-ease could be anything from cancer to fibromyalgia to migraine headaches, any kind of chronic pain, really any kind of chronic conditions. And I have learned through hypnotherapy what healing really is and how fast a person actually can heal so that they can regain optimal health and optimal wealth. It's all part of the same system, you know, and when somebody holds on to excessive amounts of weight, if they, no matter what they do, they can't lose weight or they can't stop procrastinating or or so it seems right or they can't let go of this tenacious stubborn habit no matter what they do well chances are that you might be holding on to some things about the past or maybe have way too much anxiety about the future in other words it is polluting this moment those thoughts about fear about the future, worrying, overthinking, right? Over catastrophizing the future. What if this happens? What if that happens? That constant nagging on our emotions, that constant drag, that constant pain, as well as ruminating about the past. Oh, I should have done this. I should have done that. When guilt and shame show up, oh, I could have done this so much better. What's wrong with me? I'm such an idiot. I'm such a failure. How could I have done that? I heard so many people about this. I did this wrong and that wrong. And again, that kind of casting yourself into negativity, again, that really leads to pain on a cellular level, on a mental level. And eventually our entire system gets affected by this toxicity, by this negativity, by this corrosion. And it literally it literally turns into a physical manifestation. And that is often what the weight and the heaviness that people feel, the sadness, the sorrow, the grief. And hypnotherapy gives you the opportunity to easily and effortlessly let go of some of that baggage, let go of some of that pain, let go of the shame, of the anger, bottled up resentment. And I wanna share a process with you if you're open to it where you can not only get an experience of what it's like to be hypnotized, right? Um, and by the way, I had no idea. I, had, I would laugh at hypnosis and hypnotherapy. I would ridicule it. I would joke about it. I had no idea. And I truly am consciously embarrassed <laughs> because it, it is a warranted embarrassed. Um, today I understand the divine power, what hypnotherapy really is capable of, what's really available through that process. You know, hypnotherapy truly allows you to get in touch with who you really are at, at the deepest core of who you are, at the deepest level of who you are as a person, as a human being, as a man, as a woman, whether it's as a professional, as a parent, as a divine human being, 
and it helps you to connect with something that's greater than you, that has more information that, than what you have consciously, momentarily access to. And you get to see things from a higher perspective. That ultimately gives you the healing. That ultimately gives you the comfort and the relief that you might be looking for. You know, when people experience chronic anxiety, I hate to say it like this, but there's a very good reason that they are anxious and they are overthinking and that they are in a constant state of tension and their body feels like it's under attack. Their body is angry, their body is hurting. And often that anxiety is linked to a root cause, something that happened where in the past you didn't have the resources, you didn't have the tools, the skills, the ability to understand. And instead of being able to let those emotions move through you and handle that situation through empowerment and strength and resilience and understanding, instead you were left in a complete state of most likely confusion Maybe you felt abandoned, maybe you felt helpless, maybe you felt alone, maybe you felt like, how are you gonna survive this? In other words, you were left in a state of shock. And those emotions are still living within you. And when you can go back to that event, to that moment, to the source, the root cause of that anxiety, you can heal anxiety. You can start to feel like yourself again. You can start to feel comfortable in who you are again. You can start to feel confident again. You can be calm again. You can begin to look at the future and feel cheerful and excited and enthusiastic and wake up motivated again. And so much of that this ease that people are experiencing is all due to some memories in the past that actually caused. Now, remember, not consciously. You know, he didn't do this on purpose. You know, a lot of people when I work with them realize that this happened a long time ago, often when they were children. But they see that they were in a highly disempowered state. They were terrified. They were scared. They, like I said, they were in a state of shock. And when you can go back to that moment with the wisdom, the knowledge, the information you have today, the resources, which by the way, the resources are already inside of you. There's nothing extra you need to be doing. But that little child didn't have the resources. They didn't know how to act differently. They just didn't have the ability, the knowledge, right? The availability. And when you can go back to that moment and you can help out that little, smaller, younger version of you. Everything changes in this moment. That's when healing, ha it happens sometimes within moments. While we're in our session, the healing starts to take place on a cellular level. And very often that chronic pain, gone. Anxiety, oh my God, I already feel 80% better. The migraine headache, my God. I don't realize how bad it was. So let's get on to the process because that's really what I promised you, right? But again, I think this is important for me to share about hypnotherapy because again, the media paints a very bad, dark, negative, funny picture about hypnotherapy and, and yet it deserves to have the most beautiful spotlight. It deserves to have Having said that, remember hypnotherapy is a tool and every practitioner will use this tool in his or her own way. And of course, some people may be more competent than others and that's an important distinction to make, right? All I can share with you is I can only take responsibility for my work, for you know what I've experienced and learned and witnessed and the evidence that I have collected up until now, which is just magical mysterious, uh, absolutely, I have no words, what I was able to experience with my clients, you know, and you deserve to have this information. Because in my opinion, yes, 
it's that good. It's that incredible. It is that grandiose. It's that unbelievable. And the truth is, I really don't have words to express to you the things I had the privilege to witness and help my clients through. You know, I've worked with many people who told me initially they were suicidal, anxiety, depression, fears, phobias, procrastination, self-sabotage, addiction, physical pain, chronic pain. Lots of physicians have started to refer their patients to me, psychologists, psychiatrists, because they often are at their wits end with the things that, how they have been taught to do therapy, right? And of course, many times it can move a person, it can help a person, but what if it doesn't? Do we just give up? Do we just be like nothing worked? No, absolutely not. You know, this is something that is, I, my words to this is divine, absolutely divine. So onto the process. So I want you to just now <clears throat> think about, bring to mind this thing that bothers you, maybe about the past. Let's just go with the past, right? Something that you just can't let go of, maybe you're holding a grudge, maybe you're upset, maybe you're like uh, angry, frustrated, irritated, aggravated, whatever it might be. And just bring that right now, bring that into your awareness right now. And when you have that, <clears throat> just, just a little bit, notice what are you feeling about this? Sincerely, honestly, brutally, honestly, what are you feeling about this thing that bothers you? You don't have to share with me or anybody else. This is just a conversation you can have between you and you. And this is where you get to be as honest, as, as merciless, as vindictious, whatever the word is, as uh, what's the word, um, you know, revenge, revengeful, if that's a word, you get to completely and honestly assert yourself, what are you really thinking and feeling about this? If you could be brutally honest and all you don't need to put this down on paper, just become aware, what are you feeling? And once you have that, just kind of put that in the back of your mind because we're going to need that later, but just to have the awareness. Got it? Now, when you have that, I want you to now move back a little bit as if you could step out of you and move back. Maybe take a couple of steps back and imagine, or maybe go into another room, metaphorically. In other words, you're still sitting there, but now you are getting out of that body and kind of floating back. And you now have the ability to stand or sit there and see you in front of you. And you're now just simply witnessing you sitting there perhaps being aware of the emotions that you just came up with, how you really feel about this thing, this person, who knows what it is, this memory. And just from that perspective, just become aware. What is this person? What is that person over there? What are they experiencing? What are they feeling? What's going through their mind? And when you have that, move back a little bit further. And now notice, what about that person is really bothering them. Maybe there are other people that are part of this whole memory. Maybe it's one person or other people. Now notice as you are from that perspective, from far back, looking at those people, that person which is you and all those other people over there, notice from this perspective, what are you noticing now? Maybe you're seeing a little bit about their perspective. Maybe you're seeing a little bit more about the circumstances. Maybe you're seeing a little bit more about this picture. I don't know what it is, but you might just notice a nuance, a shift, something that just happened, something that just changed. That's right. And it's very easy for people to change. In fact, we change all the time. We cannot not change. And notice what's different now about that thing that you used to feel one way about. That's right. And now I want you to move up and up and up and out and further and further back or maybe even into the future. And from that perspective now, looking back now at that thing, at you, at those people, that you over there, notice now from that perspective, what has changed now? 
how is it different now? How might you be feeling now that it's kind of off in the distance, smaller, maybe even weaker, maybe even diminished in color somehow. Maybe the color just drained out of it. Maybe it's a little bit more black and white. Maybe the life is kind of somehow pulled out of it in a way, in a strange way. Maybe the sound has turned down. Maybe the feelings have kind of drained out of it a bit. That's right. Moving up, 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 further, further, up, up, up. And you know how some people believe that eventually we get to heaven or whatever, right? Just another metaphor. But imagine now, it is, it is now in the future and you're now up there in heaven and maybe you're playing cards with God or a force or an entity or energy or, you know, maybe it is now much, much later and it's now in the future and you now, this is all behind you. This is long in the past and like I said, you're maybe having some drinks with God or playing cards or maybe you don't believe in God. Maybe you just believe in one day, you know, there will be a different moment, different time. All this will be way behind me and who knows where we will be. Nobody really knows, right? But just for the sake of this example, whether we play cards with God or we're up in heaven or maybe we're in a completely different consciousness, different dimension, who knows what it is, but you're there now whatever that looks like maybe completely engrossed in light and love and you know being coddled or maybe the angels are singing to you or maybe there's these spirit guides that are you know coddling you somehow or maybe you're just laying in a hammock somewhere who knows and now from that perspective that's right looking at it just one more time way off in it like you're like oh you might have even to squint looking at that you over there further, further, but way off over there. And all those people that might have been part of that and the circumstances and the experiences and the memories and all those moments and movements. That's right. Notice what's happening now. What are you feeling now about all of that? Now that you're in a much better place, much better state, now that you're more enlightened, more aware, more wise, more knowledgeable, you got more information than you ever have had about this. And so what's happening now about that? And you might be amused at this point. You might be laughing. I don't know. You might be just like, you know, how some people like snicker and they're like, <laughs> I can't believe. And some people even say, Hey, you know what? One day we'll laugh about this. One day this is going to be so funny. Why not just start now? Why not laugh now? Why not make fun of this now that those things we used to take so seriously, those things that were like, oh my gosh, I have to harbor and I have to put the stake in the ground and I have to make my, and I have to say, and I have to have to need to, you must and you should and the pressure. And imagine if you could just, just for a moment even, you could just laugh about it now. Notice that feeling in your body now about this whole thing. Notice what's happening now. Notice how maybe even just a little bit, a little bit of you, maybe not a whole part of you, or maybe not a whole of you, but maybe a little part of you is starting to feel a little bit or a lot of it lighter, more empowered, more confident, more joyful, be more excited about the future. Maybe I'm just, that's right, maybe just calmer. Notice what has changed. Notice how you might have changed by now. How easy it is to change for you. And no extra charge. You can keep the change. That's right. And leave me some comments how this worked for you without you having to move a muscle, without you having to even lift a finger, how easy it is to change. Enjoy. And remember, keep the change.